Hi, my name is Nicole Molnar, and this research project is a student tra research training at UCSF, and it was funded through the NIDA Scholar Summer Scholarship for undergraduate students. And I work as a health psychologist. I am Kara Arifa, who is at the University of California. So, just to start, addiction is a chronic illness that needs treatment, and there have been many cognitive behavioral strategies and developments to help individuals who are under treatment. One in particular is medication responding, which encompasses helping individuals enhance their coping mechanisms, as well as their confidence level and their ability to stop using substances or self efficacy. Dealing with truth and acceptance based responding has been found to promote better substance use treatment. However, under chronic stress, acceptance based responding can be compromised. So then we look to the stress reporting literature. And we find that stress coping incorporates the positive emotional aspects of stress, and there's many positive behavioral changes that occur when people undergo. The stress and coping response, in particular, is problem focused coping, where people can create a plan when they're under stress and create a plan to solve the stress and situation, as well as emotionally focused, where people are venting their emotions. These are the positive aspects, and by positive aspects, I mean emotions of happiness and gratitude, as well as positive reinforcement, changing the beliefs of that. So also there's Born and Build Theory, which incorporates the positive emotions of joy, love, and excitement, and how these emotions can help widen our choices as well as build like, our internal and social intellectual resources and can undo the impact of negative. Just a summary, acceptance based responding, promotes recovery, however, however it's difficult to sustain our stress, so we just do stress and coping for the build. And both of these incorporate positive aspects as a helpful resource in the cognitive behavioral strategy for coping. However, there's relatively little research on the effects of positive aspects to treat substance use. So our research question was we hypothesized that more that people reported more people reported positive aspects would occur, as well as the more positive aspects, the more people would engage in acceptance based responding, as well as decrease use of The more people engage in acceptance based responding, the more the there would be the more decrease of So we took baseline data from ASIC plus methods of using manual infection men enrolled in the Stonewall Treatment Project and the Tender West in Francisco. And participants were already enrolled in treatment at the Stonewall Project, which is a drug and alcohol treatment center. And next, they're about to come into the research project after 60 days of new treatment. They were given two computer based assessments and five Analysis. We did a linear 
discussion of how they did the sustaining bonding, whether the truth is data similar and use or the logistic regression or the that correlated correlate of providing a urine sample that was positive for recent mental. So the majority of participants are HRV positive, Caucasian middle aged. However, controlling for negative affect was found that positive affect did not significantly associate with increased frequency of silly use. However, positive affect was independently associated with the application bonding process of the whole of the chain. As you can see in the chart, here is positive affect. There is significant association with the chain processes. So the more people reported positive affect, the more they the more likely they engaged in normally stressing around people that before their recovery, the more confident they felt about CC using drugs as well as using COVID In turn, we find that the more that people reported these cognitive behavioral strategies, the less likely they would report similar abuse as well as decrease odds in having a a urine test policy sample that was positive for some So, in conclusion, we find that positive aspect can be a helpful resource for mass methamphetamine users seeking treatment. Consistent with revised stress and coping, positive aspect can support cognitive behavioral change. So, clinical research is needed to examine if interventions that will increase positive aspect and will promote better questions to these treatment outcomes. I think I know that I'm going to support in particular my own in 2012 from a research project. I'm going to Some of the literature on positive affect and doesn't overlap directly with something about positive identity does. In the population of men with sex with men. Um, but it doesn't tell us whether they can be a or some type of criminal homophobia in the ranges. And when we look at positive reappraisal, we typically look at situations of so whether they cope with that and they cope with their own sense of self and use concept. Did you look at that? Did you tend to look at that at some point? Um, and that range of identity that's available to those men. So um, my mentor, Dr. Adam Carrico, looked at 21 different um, having behavioral change processes, as well as one of them is internalized homophobia. Um, I personally didn't have interest in looking at that analysis, but that data is there. So um, he did. Okay, this is a nice question. But, uh, men, men, is that the same concept as homosexual men, or is that different thing? Like, other than homosexual. Why do you call them men? Good question. <laughs> um, I, as far as I understand it, men, many of us men may, may, may not be identified as strictly gay, so that's just one of the categories we pick, but also there's other demographics that they, the people who are in the project can identify as gay or I think that term is used in research. Um, you know, that is not stigmatizing or whatever it is, it's commonly used. Sure. Description of behavior rather than identity or other people. Why I ask the question. There's those other features that might impact. 
population testified that it's Thank you.